hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking a solenoid is worn with 970 turns on a foam 4 cm in diameter and 50 cm long the winding carrier current i in the sense that is shown in the figure or oh, we don't have the picture but we don't need a picture the current produces a magnetic field of magnitude 4.3 millitesla near the center of the solenoid find the current in the solenoid windings and let's see how we can find it so first of all uh, to find so here the current is a question right to find this one we can use this equation that is b is equal to mu n i so this is permeability constant and this is turns per length and this is current here the question is, uh, question is asking for the current so we can rearrange this equation to find the current so i is equal to b over mu n right we have the b that is millitesla 4.3 millitesla and mu is permeability constant that is given right here 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and then n is turns per length to find that one out we can use this formula n is equal to number of turns per length right number of turns 970 so 970 over length is given by 50 centimeter if we convert this one into meter that's going to be 50 times 10 to the power of minus 2 right and if you calculate this value that's going to give you 1940 meter minus 1 this is meter right now we have this one we have everything now we can go ahead and calculate this current to find the current we plug this value b is 4.3 millitesla so this is going to be 4.3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 tesla milli is 10 to the power of minus 3 right and then we have permeability constant that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla meter per meter per ampere and then you have to multiply this one by n that is 1940 meter minus 1 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 1.7638 ampere now let's look at this question this question is asking a circular loop of wire lies in the plane of the paper and increasing magnetic field points out of the paper what is the direction of the induced current in the loop now they are saying this magnetic field is pointing out of the paper so here we have to use the lens law so lens law says whatever the direction of magnetic field we have to take the opposite direction and uh, use the ambient law to find the current direction so since they are saying this is increasing magnetic fields points out of the paper so what we are going to do we are going to use ambient law into the into the paper like we have to use magnetic fields direction into the paper and if you curl your hand into the paper and so look at your thumb your thumb will look, go through clockwise direction you will see it's like if you think about circular motion you will see if you curl your hands into the paper you will see your thumb will so in uh, go toward the clockwise direction so the answer for this one is going to be clockwise direction and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time